Hey, Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com, and we've got the new bags from ION. Now, what they call these is the Gear Tech bags. These are their travel type bags. They come in a 145 and a 165. So if you want to get your low wing kite boards or probably those very small surfboards up to about a 5'4", this bag can take that as well. Now I want to show you both of them have about the same features. It's just that one is bigger than the other. If you get into the uh, casual traveling and you have the 130, anywhere between the 130 to 145, it works great. The 145 is a little bit of a tight squeeze, but it will go in there. We do have one inside of here. So a lot of people ask us what will fit in the bag, and that's very important. So we do have a 145 by 42 in this bag. It could go up to about a 44 probably in width, but that would probably be about max I would want to put aboard. Now, what I really like about some of the features on this bag, they've done really well. These are the compression straps that wrap around the bag. This is very heavy duty nylon with a Fastex buckle here and it wraps completely around the bag at two positions, which is really nice because once you put everything in, what you want to get the strength from is not the zipper. You want that load to go through these straps and they've done a very great job on that. Um, they also have these very long straps here. This is about even on the weight wise and this is great little hand strap. I uh, think they're long enough you could use this as like a backpack if you had to. You could separate these two. Now one point that I want to tell you is make sure that if you do go and you get one of these bags, no matter what the bag is, if you have long handle straps like this when you go to travel, do something with them. This is the worst. I've seen these things get separated from the Velcro. Guys grabbing one strap like this, it's long. and. The airlines do not like that. The guys will grab this and sling the bag or do. Don't give them that opportunity. So make sure, what I've found is I sit here and I take these compression straps, wrap around these straps here, and then do it again down here. And these will stay tight and they will not have a problem with that. So make sure, anything like this on any kind of bag, you wanna make sure that it's tight down or they will grab that. Now, some of the other features I wanna show you here. This, you can see on the back side here, it's got a pretty good hard plate inside of here up to a certain point. It's a little bit more padded about halfway on the bag. Um, again, these straps you can see are stitched all the way around the bag to take that load. They have a good sliding uh, sliders here, so if this is the area that gets set down and picked up, really nice urethane bearing wheels on the end here. This is very heavy duty. It should take some load, but it's the airlines. You can only imagine. But they did a great job in manufacturing here. Um, let me show you. Inside I've got a board and two kites and I still have plenty of room. You can see all the slack in here. This is a great place to you know, pack in your harness, your pump, um, your clothing, wetsuit, whatever you may want inside. It does have vents on each end, so if it's a little wet inside, it can ventilate a little bit, but the main thing is, is don't put anything wet inside of here, the least, the least amount as possible, because what a lot of these bags have, which is great, is they have a lining inside. So this is a uh, uh, tarpon material is what they call this, and it kind of seals in that wetness, so if anything is wet and it's in your car, it's not going to leak out all in the car, which is a great thing. There's an extra pocket right inside of here, and this is all made out of tarpon, so I'm guessing that if you have like a wet, a wet suit or swimsuit or something, you can easily pack that down inside of this pocket that's up here uh, on the lid itself. Now I have two kites in here. Again, you can imagine if this was packed down inside of a compression bag, you could easily get three kites in here. You, would, you can easily pack this bag to the limit that the airline allows, which I believe is 50 pounds now. So I want to show you inside of here. This is a 145, and it definitely meets the max in. I always like to try to put a cushion on the end that doesn't have, this end has a lot of good protection. It's got a heavy duty plate down here, plastic plate, which is the end you set it on. But the top end here, you want to make sure that you get some kind of uh, protection on that, on the tip of that board. You can see it's a little tight, but something up here on that end. These, this is where the boards get beat when you travel. So it's really nice. You can see here it's fully lined. It is padded. Some bags do not even have any padding in here. It's just cloth. This does have about a quarter inch padding inside of here, stitched throughout the whole bag. Um, I really like that. It's got a handle on each end, so if you have a friend to help you grab the bag or wherever it is, and they're heavy duty down here. Um, this end is pretty unique. It's kind of a neat feature. It's got the strap here, but it's also got a buckle on it. I've seen this if guys want to strap this down or loop it around something instead of tying something around the handle, 
you've already got the handle to kind of latch it, latch around something uh, and hang it up to dry or whatever, but it's, it's kind of unique, a really neat little, little item they did on this bag. But all in all, we're very pleased with them. We think this is something that will last. It's built out of some really good heavy duty materials. It does have the full plastic zipper. This is a number 10 uh, tooth zipper, so they will not corrode. This is all plastic with plastic pulls and everything. Uh, a good thing to look at when it comes to getting a bag. But uh, other than that, I really like another feature is the lightweight. The reason is if you get a bag that, uh, I mean, it's got a little bit of weight because it has a plate in here, protective. But the lighter you get the bag, the more gear you can pack up to that 50 pounds. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here. If you have any questions at all, wondering if your board will fit, uh, or about the 165, is it long enough to fit something and width-wise, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call here. We pack these things down and we get that information so we can help you, the, uh, the customer, to make sure they get the right bag for your traveling. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com, looking up for some new gear to keep you traveling.